So hello, uh, I would like to excuse me uh, for this delay of 10 minutes. Uh, we had some issues uh, for on the PowerPoint uh, opening to open the PowerPoint file. And yeah, I'm really sorry for this. Now I think, I hope you can hear me well. And uh, we will start, I will start in five seconds for this webinar. So uh, I would like to uh, introduce you today about the military connectors. I'm going to talk about uh, the range that we have of connectors regarding the military uh, environment. And yeah, I'm Daniel Jampan. I'm a business development manager for the harsh environment and military sector. And as I said, today I'm going to present you these uh, connectors, the features and differences, some applications, uh, some special projects that we did uh, in this field. And um, the presentation will last about uh, 20, 25 minutes, so not so long. I hope you can still be here and uh, follow the entire uh, presentation. And yeah, let's start. Also, uh, I will present you a quick presentation outline, as always, uh, some information about Diamond SA, our, pro our progress through the years. Then we have uh, vertical integration, main markets, our technologies. And then we start with the military styles connectors, some special projects. Like I said before, I will show you five, six uh, different projects that we did for some customers. Uh, our laboratory, testing calibration laboratory, or, or clean room, some kits, on field kits, repair kits that we have, splicing kits, and as always, my conclusions. So, uh, Diamond SA is a privately run company with more than 60 years of market presence. Uh, we manufacture ultra high performance, uh, ultra high uh, fiber optic connectors. Um, we are, our headquarters is located in Lozone in Switzerland, in the Italian part. And we have two subsidiaries, one in Germany, close to Stuttgart, and one in the US in Boston. We have as well some representatives, some main representatives in the UK, in France, in Israel, in Hong Kong, in Japan, and some other smaller representatives in other, in other nations. Uh, we manufacture all in-house from the raw material to the final product. And uh, yeah, we have tight tolerances uh, because of due to our uh, special technology that we use that I will show you in the next two slides. What we have here is the progress of Diamond. Uh, Diamond, they say, was founded in the 1958. We produced, uh, for the first 20 years, Diamond produced uh, needles for turntables, for these old turntables for music and they were made in diamond material that's why named diamond then in the 80s we introduced fiber optic technology and one year later we released our first uh, diamond fiber optical connector in 1993 we released our worldwide known e2000 and then following some other connectors for telecom, F3000, and then um, SC, FC, and other connectors. And then in 2014, we released our first military connector, MIL-38999 mil DM4. Then one year later, another uh, harsh environment connector. It's called the HE2000. In 2018, we, really, we received a certification from ESA for the space regarding the AVIM family connectors. And then two years ago, 
we uh, found, we, we manufactured, we released um, Lens Sparrow. It's a new technology uh, where I will talk to you in the next, yeah, next slides. Should, they should present you this technology. We are a vertically integrated company for ceramic, plastic, and metal. I like to say it in the first slide, uh, we buy the raw material, for example, for the ceramic, the zirconia powder, plastic granulate, metal blanks, and we have, uh, we produce all in-house with our machiners to arrive um, or to, to present the final, the finished product, the finished part. Our main market is telecom. It's our first oldest market. market. Uh, then in the last 10, 15 years, we stepped into the industrial, aerospace and defense and med medical and photonics market. So our technologies, we, we work with polarization maintaining fibers. We have um, different connectors, E2000, F3, um, F3000, PM in power solution and PM plus that's our uh, the PM plus is a, is a um, better version let's say of the PM because it has uh, a better ER ratio uh, that's the, the main reason then we have power solution connectors in single mode up to 6 watt and for the PS plus uh, up to 16 watt in single mode and um, the 16 watt was released last year so it's kind of new technology that we are we brought in the market and then this is the lens ferro the xb expanded beam it's all um, it's called uh, what is different as you can see in the image there is a ball lamp made of glass like a sphere that is uh, positioned, that is glued in the, on the front face of the ferro. And this technology is uh, suitable when we have a harsh environment, when we have, when we work in some environments where uh, we have a lot of debris, of dirt. And uh, as you know, fiber optic connectors needs to be cleaned properly before connecting them, before mating them. And uh, with this technology, you even if you leave some dirt or debris, if you don't clean the connector well, uh, it will work anyway. So this is uh, the main, like the main reason why we, we, we release this, uh, technology. Our ferrules are made in big components, so two materials. We have the ceramic with the titanium insert and uh, we use our um, crimping tools, so our machines, where we crimp the, the front face of the ferrule. We, we basically crimp the titanium to center the core uh, of the fiber with the mechanical axis of the ferro. And this technology, this procedure is called active core alignment or ACA. So we start to step into the military connectors. Uh, this is our DM4. It's not a connector, but it's an component and insert for our connectors. It's called diamond multipurpose termini. It's basically the herd of the various housing types that we have. And this herd, uh, this uh, plastic adapter is based on a 2.5 millimeter ferrule. And we, we can configure them how we want with uh, optical channels, electrical channels, or hybrid, so both channels, types, etc. 
and this will insert it will be inserted in our uh, connectors in our military connectors in our uh, he 2000 or customized uh, body as you can see here this is a really uh, nice uh, picture where you can see on the left we have the ferrule types we have the the standard ferrule 2.5 millimeters we have the op electrical option or the lens ferrule that is a bit smaller of uh, diameter so 1.7 millimeters and you can uh, configure them like you want adding up to four functions adding the polishing in case of the standard ferrule and then you can choose your housing type Let's start with the uh, MIL 38999, size 13. Main, fe main features are yeah, um, vibration shock resistant, IP67 protection. It has a metal housing. And it is on site, field reparable. So you can see below, this is uh, the body of the connector on the left. Then you have the EM4 adapter that I presented before, the ferrule and then the Alberino. Uh, this type of connector is suitable for satellite application, oil and gas, transport, and, and so on. Then we have the motor, the MIL 38999 size 25. It has the same specs, same features. But it, has, it is a 12 channel connector. So we have instead of one adapter, DM4, we have three of them. So you can configure this uh, 12 channels uh, like you want, having PM fibers, having multimode fibers, having electrical cables, and uh, a mix up of all the fibers is as well possible. And then we have on the other side the MIL 83526. It is a high reliable connector with a higher protection, IP protection, IP68. And the particularity of this connector, it is a self aligning, uh, it is made for blind mating applications. So uh, you cannot uh, mate the connector in the wrong. Uh, the wrong way because it has only one way to connect the bulkhead with the connector and yeah this is has same applications these connectors uh, like oil and gas transports and as well uh, may uh, usually made for sensors applications here is a, a range of our examples of applications of our connector and military lidars sensors avionics oil and gas transportation trains uh, fpg sensors fiber to the home fiber to the antenna everything is possible and here I want to present you some special projects that we did in the past years or we are currently in progress uh, to develop such project, projects with our, uh, for our customers. For example, first project is the, it's called the Cerbero. It's basically, uh, you can see on the 3D file, uh, it's basically a three three way connector. We have two mil three triple nine size twenty five with PS technology. So our customer the needs the need of our customer was uh, he wanted all the forty eight channels uh, made with PS technology. And then we have the size thirteen with only electrical wires and. The Cerbero is the name of this particular uh, black box, round black box, and uh, it is as well customizable, like you see on the right. Uh, 
this is just an example of a server row with a meal connector with two meal connectors and one HE2000. So you can have 36 fibers, 24 fibers, and then they will go only in one big cable. And yeah, uh, that's it. And on the other side, the customer wanted a E2000 PS. So, uh, a lot of E2000 PS with a sub D connector. So this is just was just the need. Another project was a hybrid mill trade triple nine size 25 for a telecommunication customer. Uh, the need was to have on one side the mill and on the other side 12 SC connectors. And the total length of this patch cord was 20 meters with an outdoor cable. And uh, yeah, this is just to show you the conf possible configuration that are possible uh, with this mill connector. Another example was for the for the military for the landmines. Uh, we manufactured with a mill A3526, amagnetic, so not magnetical components. Uh, the request was to have the whole assembly uh, not magnetic. So because we as a standard we have the spring and the shell that are made of metal, of inox. And in this case, we changed the, the bond, the bill of material, and we produced every component. So, uh, we, we used each, uh, we, we selected all the components to be, all the components to be um, not magnetic. In the case of the spring, we used a Neva Flex spring. And in the case of the shell, we used an aluminum shell. And yeah, this was a, a particular project. Then we had uh, with the mill A3526 with the, with the XP technology, so with Lance Ferrell. As you can see, uh, the technology that I presented you before in, is represented like the picture in the middle. You can see a uh, barrel under a microscope with this um, ball lamp that is shining. So this is basically the, the ball. Uh, this was a special project for the airport and heliport lighting system. So we use this connector to um, under like the bot the, the, the shell of each uh, light. We had to use one of our connectors. So um, to uh, how can I say um, to let the lights communicate each other and change them the color and um, so that the the tower knows uh, which one which light is broken or where we have to to do some service and you can see uh, the mill connector the orange one. Uh, this is this was not the one used in this system, but I just inserted it so that you can see uh, the hybrid configuration with some electrical Alberinos, one XP ferrule and one standard ferrule. This was uh, just to show you some configurations. Then you have, uh, we had another project for the military drones reconnaissance. Basically, uh, the request was uh, to use the drones with a cable so that they do not have to go back to the ground to, to recharge the battery of these drones. And they wanted a drone that will be the whole time, fly the whole time in the sky with uninterruptible power supply. That's why we proposed 
to use the mean trade 399 in XP ferrules. And on the other side, it was uh, there was a F3000S, the worldwide LC, that was connected to our drones, and the mill was connected on the ground on the power supply. In this configuration, it was used uh, optical channel, one optical channel, and two electrical cables. And, and uh, the cable was a special cable, so it was a T-thread drone cable. It is crash resistant, low weight. So this was with the, the features or the specs needed from our customer. And we, sh we, we choose as well the right cable for this application. And yeah, that's it. Another example was uh, as well for the military. Um, they needed to let communicate to um, system on 50 meters of distance where we used two mill connectors, size 25 with 12 channels. In this case, the customer needed only six channels with four PM fibers and two single mode fibers. All this needed to be uh, protected uh, on a, in a jacket. We used uh, as, our, as our standard inox silicon tubing um, and because the customer uh, specs was uh, this cable needs to be on the ground even if uh, some people uh, step over this cable, the fibers should not break. And yeah. Uh, we made those configuration in 50 meters length, but what we have done until now, what we have manufactured was uh, lanches up to 100 meters. And in the case of a hybrid patch cord, we did as well uh, with a 200 meter cable. So these are a bit of uh, specialities where in the last month we we received some request I received we received some requests regarding uh, if we can manufacture long distance uh, patch cord and um, in this case or yeah I can say we can do them we have to see the request from the customer and then we can evaluate the feasibility. So the next project was uh, called Sites 19 connector. It is a customized, it has customized channels. In this case, we on the as you can see on the left, the connector on the front, it is a six channel cable with four optical channel and two electrical channels below and on the right you can see eight channel connector so four electrical and four optical channels and yeah as we did this connect those types of like this customized channel connectors uh, other more channels or other channels could be um, could be done upon request of the customer. In the middle, you can see a picture on how we connected this uh, sort of DM4, this sort of um, customized uh, blue component to fix the DM4 adapter and the two electrical pins. And below, it's the it's a flexible flexible tube used um, in harsh environment applications. Uh, yeah, uh, we have as well a testing calibration laboratory in house that is accredited by the Swiss Accreditation Service since two thousand two. Uh, we in this laboratory we calibrate fiber optic instruments. We measure fiber optical components and 
even for uh, external services, we can measure or we, 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 we do this service for external customers, even if it's not our uh, connector. Uh, yeah. What we have as well is the ISO 7 clean room, where we, we, we package in a controlled environment the patch core, pigtails, especially for space grade assemblies and for enhanced grade. We the, surf, the total surface of the kingdom is 40 square meters, but we have planned to expand it this year. So we will have another uh, same or similar surface of another clean room. We have as well the inspection, cleaning, and on field kits. For example, we sell microscope, video microscope kits. The Dia Clean Kit, that is a cleaning kit for um, for the harsh environment connectors, and we have as well the for the normal connectors, so for the standard connectors. Then we have the splicing kit, the Zeus D50 HE, and all these kits were made ad hoc for diamond connectors because we on this kit we added the um, some special adapters to inspect, to clean, or um, aging um, or dy the diamond connectors. So, uh, some conclusions. My conclusions. I would say uh, we have military connectors available from one to twelve channels with the DM4 insert, and they are uh, they could be configurable. As, uh, as per your needs. We have on-field repair inspection cleaning kits, like I said before. So even some post-service, even if one of the diamond connectors will be uh, dirty and it needs to be inspected, we can um, offer the right cleaning kit. Like I said, we, we can have a tex technology mix-up with single mode, multi-mode, PM, PS fibers. Uh, and yeah, like I said, ad hoc solutions based on customer requirements, like these special project, projects that we did, um, that I showed you before. They are customizable upon request. And what we have standard, are the mil three triple nine in, in uh, size 13 and in size 25 and for the mil eight five eight three five two six we have the four of opt, four optical chain and um, sorry four channel available all other requirements needs to be evaluated by our uh, tech, technical department so uh This was it. Uh, I will leave you here my contact details below on the right on the left corner below uh, my email and my direct line and I take the opportunity to to say that we have uh, another I have another webinar we have another we will present another webinar on the 28th of April regarding the high temperature applications and high temperature connectors and uh, yeah that's it I would like to ask you if you have uh, some quick questions that may I could answer you uh, now otherwise you can uh, just write me an email or um, or for me so if you have a question please raise your hand now Okay, uh, I don't see any raised hand. So um, I would like to apologize again for the delay that I had on the beginning. 
and thank you for participating to this webinar. See you in the next one and wish you all a nice evening or morning depending on the right on the time zone that you are.